And we close out the lights in Group C. Game number six for both these squads, Tapra and Red Bull Munich. They met last year in the CHL semifinals. How would they fare here today? Tapra won that one, three nothing by the way. Tapra here in the first 10 minutes of action, putting Matthias Niederberger under siege. Nothing across him yet. There was no score, at least on one half of the first period. However, Christian Helianko, who was in net today for Tapra, kept up his end of the bargain, stopping Justin Schutzing company numerous times. He faced eight shots, no score at the end of 20 minutes of play. And Veli Mati, Savinainen, first goal of CHL, jams his puck past Niederberger. His first goal of CHL, adding to the resume of Tapra, they now have 12 players that have notched a goal so far in five plus games. It is one to nothing Tapra with the advantage. Now, for as good as Tapra has been so far at CHL, offensively, they have been stout defensively. The reason why is the dude in net. Christian Helianko made a couple of big stops in the second period to keep Tapper up by a score of one to nothing. Helianko in this game had a goals against average at 148 and a save percentage at 937 actually improved both of those numbers. Odd man rush, Ben Thomas, tic-tac-toe passing, and he went top shelf against Niederberger, making no mistake on this one. And for Thomas, his first goal, second point, it was two to nothing, Tapra with the advantage. Just smooth passing all the way around. Less than 10 minutes to go in the second period, continuous movement in front of Niederberger, and he was harassed in the second frame. Not a real response from Red Bull Munich, not keeping the slot open at all. And for Red Bull Munich, shockingly enough, they came into this contest with a with a 4-1 record, but they couldn't get off the map here today. Simon Annan jams his puck in on a 5-on-3 skating situation. Two power plays in about three and a half minutes worth of work for Tapra. They made the most of it. They actually went two for two on the man advantage in that second frame and it was three to nothing. More to come from Tapra into the third period. Jurgen shot from the point. A seeing eye shot under the glove of Niederberger over the pad. It was four to nothing. Tapra and the route was on. Jurgen's first goal in third point of CHL. And for Tapra, they were in cruise control. They were also 4-1 heading into today's contest, and they would get their fifth win in six games. Biggest reason for that was the production up front, the balance, and also the goaltending. Helianko tested again numerous times near the end of the third period, but he held up, stood tall, and he was proud for Tapra as they win this game going away by a final score of 4-0, and for Helianko, the second shutout in five games.